Have you ever wondered how a boy born into poverty became the ruler of the largest contiguous empire in history? Our journey begins in the rugged steppes of Mongolia where a boy named Temujin was born into a tribal society. The world he entered was harsh and unforgiving, dominated by tribal warfare and a relentless struggle for survival. Temujin's early life was one of hardship and adversity. His father, a tribal chieftain, was poisoned by a rival tribe when Temujin was just nine years old. This tragic event thrust young Temujin into a world of danger and uncertainty. His father's death left his family in a precarious position, without protection or a means of support. The tribe they belonged to swiftly exiled them, fearing the reprisal of their enemies. In the harsh wilderness of the Mongolian steppes, Temujin, his mother and his siblings were left to fend for themselves. Temujin's childhood was marked by extreme poverty and the constant threat of violence. Yet, it was during these difficult years that the future Genghis Khan began to show signs of his extraordinary resilience and tactical brilliance. Temujin learned to survive and thrive in this harsh environment. He became a skilled hunter and warrior, honing his skills in the unforgiving wilderness. He also learned the importance of alliances and began to forge relationships with other outcasts and exiles. His leadership qualities were evident even in these early years, his charisma, cunning and courage drew others to him, and he slowly began to build a small band of followers. These followers were fiercely loyal to Temujin, bound by their shared hardships and the strong sense of camaraderie that emerged from their struggle for survival. These experiences, as harsh as they were, laid the foundation for Temujin's extraordinary rise to power. They shaped him into a resilient and resourceful leader, capable of uniting the fractious tribes of Mongolia under his banner. The lessons he learned in these early years would serve him well as he embarked on his quest to become the ruler of all Mongols. From these harsh and humble beginnings Temujin would rise to become Genghis Khan, the universal ruler. A true leader emerges in times of chaos. How did Genghis Khan manage to unite the warring Mongol tribes? In the vast, unforgiving plains of Mongolia, a leader rose from the ashes of tribal warfare, a leader who would not only unite his people, but also leave an indelible mark on the world. Genghis Khan, born as Temujin, was known for his political acumen. He understood the power of unity, the strength in numbers. He knew that to unite the fiercely independent Mongol tribes, he needed more than just brute force. He needed to break with tradition to offer them something they hadn't seen before. Temujin's first major break with Mongol tradition was his meritocratic approach to leadership. In a society where leadership positions were often hereditary, he instead rewarded loyalty and talent. This strategy not only earned him the respect and loyalty of his followers, but also brought a new level of efficiency and organization to the Mongol tribes. But Temujin's strategies weren't confined to his own tribe. He also leveraged alliances and marriages to strengthen his position. He married his daughters to the leaders of potential rival tribes, thereby ensuring their loyalty. His sons and daughters became diplomatic tools, creating a network of alliances that made it difficult for any single tribe to oppose him. Through these strategies, Temujin gradually united the Mongol tribes under one banner. He created a sense of shared identity of belonging to something greater than their individual tribes. He gave them a common cause to fight for, a common enemy to oppose. He gave them a vision of a united Mongolia, a vision they could believe in. And so it came to pass that in the year 1206, Temujin was declared Genghis Khan, the leader of the United Mongol Tribes, a name that would echo through the ages, a name that would become synonymous with power, conquest, and unity. A leader who emerged from the chaos, who transformed a fragmented society into an empire that would shape the course of history. In 1206, Temujin was declared Genghis Khan, the leader of the United Mongol Tribes. What made the Mongol army under Genghis Khan so terrifyingly effective? This question has tantalized historians for centuries. Let's delve into the fascinating details of the Mongol military machine, a force that was indeed a game changer in the theater of warfare. At the heart of the Mongol army's strength was its discipline. Genghis Khan established a strict code of conduct, known as the Yasa, which demanded absolute obedience from his warriors. This discipline was enforced with an iron fist, any deviation was met with severe punishment. This level of discipline was unheard of in other armies of the time, and it offered the Mongols a significant advantage on the battlefield. Yet, discipline alone wasn't what made the Mongols formidable. Their mobility was equally if not more crucial. The Mongols were master horsemen. 
Each warrior had at least three horses allowing for rapid movement across vast distances. This mobility enabled them to conduct lightning-fast raids leaving their enemies bewildered and disoriented. The Mongols also understood the power of psychological warfare. They often used deceptive tactics to confuse and terrify their enemies. For instance, they would create dust storms to hide their numbers, or use dummy warriors to inflate the apparent size of their forces. These tactics sowed fear and confusion among their adversaries, often leading to their swift defeat. The role of the horse in Mongol warfare was pivotal. The Mongols' horses were not just beasts of burden, but partners in battle. They were small, sturdy, and incredibly resilient, capable of covering up to 60 miles a day without needing much water or fodder. The Mongol warrior and his horse were a symbiotic pair, working together seamlessly in the heat of battle. In summary, the Mongol military was a unique blend of discipline, mobility, psychological warfare, and horsemanship. This combination made them a virtually unstoppable force. The Mongol army was a force unlike anything the world had seen before. It was a military machine that would forever change the course of history. Beyond his military prowess, what made Genghis Khan such an effective ruler? It was his innovative administrative and legal reforms that truly set him apart. Genghis Khan was a visionary who recognized the need for a structured society and the importance of law and order. One of his significant accomplishments was the creation of a written code of law, known as the Yasa. Before Genghis Khan, Mongol tribes were ruled by customs and traditions passed down orally from generation to generation. But Genghis Khan understood the importance of a formal written code that could provide a consistent legal framework for his vast empire. The Yasa was a comprehensive law code, covering a wide range of issues from property rights to criminal justice. It was designed to be fair, practical, and easily understandable by the common people. This was a revolutionary concept at that time, and it played a vital role in maintaining order and stability within the Mongol Empire, but Genghis Khan didn't stop there. He also established a policy of religious tolerance, a rare and enlightened stance in an era defined by religious wars and persecutions. Under his rule, all religions were respected and protected, creating a sense of unity and harmony among his diverse subjects. Perhaps one of his most innovative policies was his merit-based system of promotion. In contrast to the prevailing practices of the time, Genghis Khan promoted individuals based on their abilities and accomplishments, not their birth or social status. This policy not only fostered a meritocratic society, but also motivated his people to strive for excellence, knowing that their efforts would be recognized and rewarded. Genghis Khan's administrative and legal reforms, his religious tolerance and his merit-based system of promotion were all visionary strategies that contributed to the strength and longevity of the Mongol Empire. Through these reforms, Genghis Khan created a functioning state that could survive and prosper even without his direct leadership. He may be remembered as a great conqueror, but he was also a remarkable ruler who left a lasting legacy on governance and law. Genghis Khan created a functioning state that could survive and prosper even without his direct leadership. So what does the story of Genghis Khan teach us about leadership and strategy? In our exploration, we've seen a figure who is far more than just a warlord. Genghis Khan was a master of adaptability, a visionary leader, and a relentless strategist. Firstly, Genghis Khan's adaptability was a cornerstone of his success. He was not rigid or stuck in his ways. Instead, he was always learning, always evolving. He absorbed the techniques of his enemies, integrating their tactics into his own strategies. This willingness to learn and adapt made him a formidable adversary, always one step ahead of those who dared to challenge him. But Genghis Khan's adaptability was not confined to the battlefield. He was also adaptable in his governance, adopting new administrative systems and legal codes as he expanded his empire. He understood that to govern effectively, he needed to evolve, to adapt to the diverse cultures and societies he had conquered. This adaptability allowed him to maintain control over a sprawling empire, an empire that stretched from the Pacific Ocean to the heart of Europe. Genghis Khan also had an uncanny ability to inspire loyalty among his followers. He did this not through fear or intimidation, but through respect and a shared sense of purpose. He promoted based on merit, not birthright, and rewarded loyalty with trust and responsibility. This fostered a sense of unity and commitment among his troops, a bond that made his army all the more powerful. Yet, perhaps the most enduring aspect of Genghis Khan's legacy is his vision. He saw beyond the limitations of his time 
imagining a world united under one banner, his banner. This vision drove him, fueled his conquests and inspired his followers. Genghis Khan's story is a testament to the power of vision, strategy and leadership. He turned the tides of history and his legacy continues to echo through the ages. His story serves as a potent reminder of what can be achieved with the right blend of vision, adaptability and leadership. Please like and subscribe to the channel.